chapter 5, lesson 7. Is multiplication and division one-step problems? So we have been preparing for the word problems and now they're here. So we will have the simple multiplication and division bar models, which I showed you guys, which is equivalent to number of groups, items per group, and total items. So remember, this represents the number of groups. Okay, this represents the items per group, and this represents the total items. The second type of multiplication bar model is the compare bar model, which means there's usually a character A and a character B, and typically it'll say A is three times or four times as much as B. So if that's the case, one unit of B is equal to three units of A. So that means this is representing A is three times as much as B. So this will be the tool that we will be using for multiplication and division word problems. So our problems will come from different pages starting with page 112. The first problem, problem number one says, John pays three dollars a loaf. How much does he pay for nine loaves? So setup is number of groups or number of things. Amount per thing because it's in dollars and total amount. Okay, so in this case, it says $3 a loaf. So this is three. Okay, and there are nine loaves. And the question is, how much does he pay? So we don't really need a bar model for this because this setup allows us to see that this is a multiplication problem. So the setup is nine times three is equal to question mark. Kids can either do tables of nines or tables of threes. So whatever they're most comfortable with, that's what we allow them to do. So this is $27. Now, if they needed to make a bar model, the bar model will have nine groups. So one, two, many. So that means there are nine of them. This is $3. And the question is, how much is the whole thing? So for the next problem, it's important that we do a bar model. So when it's comparing, it's usually important. But I, for number four, I don't need comparing yet. So for number four, the problem says, James baked 40 cupcakes. He put them equally into four boxes. Question is, how much did he put in each? Okay, so again, number of groups, items per group, and total items. Okay, so he baked 40 cupcakes. That's the total. Okay, then it says he puts it into four boxes. So that's the number of groups. And the question is, how many did he put in each? So each and per are the same. So again, parents, if it's too stressful for the kids, let them identify what is easiest for them to identify. Okay, so clearly this is a division problem because we're given the total items. So the setup will be 40 divided by 4 is question mark. So here, what will happen is we count by fours until we reach 40, which makes it 10. Again, if the kids are required to do a bar model, then we have no choice but to do the bar model. But this will be the guide. So we have four groups. This is the question and this is the total. So again, let them use that to guide them to make the bar model and not the other way around. Looking at 
page 114, we will do two more problems to demonstrate these. So problem number five says Bernard had 56 balloons. He packed them into boxes of seven. How many boxes did he use? So again, number of groups, items per group, and total items. So this can still be solved without the bar model. So, but if the bar model is required, then we have no choice but to follow the bar model. So there are 56 balloons. He packed them into boxes of seven. So that means each box has seven. Question is, how many boxes did he use? So that means we're looking for the number of groups. So if the kids had to do the bar model for this, we don't know the number of groups. So that means that's when it's going to be dot, 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 and a question mark in the middle. Okay, then what happens is this is seven because that's the items per group, and this is 56. So since the total item is given, it's not a multiplication problem. It's got to be a division problem. So 56 divided by 7 is question mark. Counting by 7 till 56 will mean 8 total fingers. Another problem that I will discuss which demonstrates the comparing will be problem number six. Okay, so in problem number six, it says a box of chocolate costs $28. It costs four times as much as a box of butter cookies. So we're comparing the cost of a box of chocolate to a box of butter cookies. So chocolates first, butter cookies down below. So the chocolate costs four times as much as the butter cookie. So that means the butter cookie gets one box and the chocolate gets four boxes because it's four times as much. Okay, this in total is... $28. The question is, how much does a box of butter cookie cost? So the problem has leading questions. But if we were to teach our kids, basically what we know is the 28, need, the 28 needs to be divided by 4. So the equation should be 28 divided by 4 is question mark. That gives you the cost per box and that cost is the same as this cost which means a box costs seven dollars so again parents this is stressful because it's word problems not only do we have to do the typical multiplication and division word problems we now have the fact that we have to compare and it's the number of times. That's when it's, for me, essential that we do the uh, bar model for multiplication. That concludes Lesson 7 of Chapter 5, which also concludes the chapter. See you in the next chapter.